I've got another Mega Mailbag. Look how much stuff I've got this time. I think there's spare parts in here from some bits of Tisky I'm trying to fix. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. Do it now. Right now. Go on. Get down there. Push those buttons wherever they are. Over there. I think over there. Down there? Yeah. It's a night. So this one's from Element 14. Used to be final, whatever. I think there's a spare parts. Pretty sure. Oh, we even got a new Connect magazine. Thrilling. I have a little look through that. So what's supposed to have turned up? A uh, whole bunch of stuff's out of stock apparently. That's annoying. So capacitors. Supposed to be capacitors. And other stuff's going to come later on. Come on. Some of the capacitors I need. So these are 10 microfarad 400 volt caps. It's 85 degrees C rated, but when it comes to these sorts of caps, sometimes you just have to get what you can. Um, you sometimes you can't get 105 degree because this is not available easily. You probably can get them somewhere else, but for me, locally, I'm a bit more limited. So, anyway, here's the deal. I need one of these, but I bought four. So I've got, actually I need two of these because I've got to do two power supplies now. So two of these, it gives me two for stock, which will be great because I don't use many of these things anyway. But every once in a while you need some. Now thanks to my Patreons for supporting me. The uh, financial assistance helps me to buy things from our bag and helps me to buy bits to fix bits of test gear. And helps me even buy bits of test gear. So it's all very helpful. Ah, they're great. This took a while to arrive. These are just little... Um, rubber boots for toggle switches. So you've got mini, was it? I think the mini toggle switches, aren't they? Yeah, minis. Nothing particularly exciting. Just it's basically a nut with a rubber ring on it and a rubber boot over the top to make it a little bit more weatherproof. Um, stops the liquids and stuff getting down the shaft to the switch mainly. That's the main thing there. I needed a few of these to make my little project to devices more weatherproof because I've got these like this. And uh, I think I needed one more. Yeah, I think I need one more or two more or something like that. I actually ran out of them. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos as well. I've got loads and loads of videos in the back catalogue there. I mean, this is over, you know, 700, over 700 videos as of, at the time of recording this. I can't get into this thing. Let's just use a real knife, shall we? This isn't going to go well. There it is. Right. So make sure you check out my previous videos. I've got lots of test gear repairs, mailbag videos like this one. Maybe not quite like this one, but you know, you get the idea. Lots of stuff. 3D printing. Anything I've ever worked on, repaired. So, which since I'll start bothering recording videos at least. Okay, so these are some flex cables for the 2010 MacBook. These are for the Wi-Fi module which I have a spare one off here as well now, which has arrived recently, because I had to re repair my MacBook here. Well, a MacBook, I should say, and these are the part numbers here. 8210961A. Yeah, assume not what up now. Got a couple of those, now I've got one for now and one for spare. It's always handy to have spares. These took a while to arrive as well, but it's not surprising with the current situation worldwide, you know. Things are going to be delayed and a bit slower. Yeah, it's expected. So these are some 2.5 mil bolts, I suppose. So these ones are just plain round-headed. What would you call those round-headed ones? When I answer oh, so those, what size are these? 10 mil. And these ones are countersunk. I mean, it's 2.5 by 6. How many do I have? I used them for something. I can't remember what it was now. I was running a bit low, so I thought I'd get some more. And here's some more. Exactly the same things. <laughs> I think I had an issue with them disappearing, actually. Yeah, I didn't buy this many. I just bought some. This is a lot more than I purchased. I think that they went missing, and then they've been resent. Yeah, I think that's the case, because I bought these ages ago. This is like January, four months ago, something like that. Yeah, they went missing, never arrived, and they've resent them. And I've now got two lots that arrived at the same time. That's odd. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why did I get these? <laughs> Why did I get these? I've already got one of these. That's confusing. Oh, maybe it just came with it. Is there some little scalpel blades in there? And there's a scalpel in here. Which I need a blade to cut into to get into the bag or anything. Actually, you know that. This. There you go. So I've been meaning to get a little scalpel blade for ages because sometimes I just need a really fine point and well, something like this, this doesn't cut it. Well, it does cut it, but it doesn't do the job. <laughs> and so I thought I'd get this and I'll get some blades and this should do me for a long time. Brilliant. This isn't for open mail. It's too dangerous to open mail, likely to cut through things and damage things. I just don't like to do it for that. So. But these, I don't know where they came with it. I guess so, just part of the package. I didn't notice, but that's what I bought it for. Here's another element 14 bag. So I got distracted talking to my wife and I accidentally unwrapped it. So, ta-da! This is, well, are a couple of capacitors. These are, hopefully the other ones I'm waiting for. 4,700 microfarad, 25 volt. Excellent, I've been waiting for these two. So that's the other two capacitors I need to do the power supply refurbishment on these bits of Hesky I'm working on. So, Vichet's again, again, 85 degrees C. So that's brilliant. So I've got all the parts I need now to finish doing the power supply recapping of both units. So the first unit I've already started that one, but I didn't have the 10 microfarad or the 4700 microfarad. And the second unit I haven't even started yet because I've only just got it. This now I've got all the capacitors I need to do those parts. Still some waiting for though. I'm still waiting for some 33 microfarads to finish one of the boards. I haven't got any. But they're on their way I think. Hmm. Anything you see here is, well, usually I'll have links down below for most of these things, not everything. So if you're interested in buying anything or even interested in supporting the channel a little bit and you intend to buy something from a site, check out my links down below in the description for, you know, Banggood or AliExpress. For some reason I felt like buying some of these. Um, it's one of these things I just kind of go through a little stage, I suppose, and I think, oh, I'll, I'll get some of these. I'll use them one day. I know they come in handy. So these have been cut out of something. I don't know what they've been cut out of. Maybe someone can identify it. Maybe. So these are strapped used units from China. <laughs> yeah, that's looking a bit worse over here. This is a 10 megahertz. I think it's an OCX so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on these. Let's try and find. So there's five pins on the bottom. They've got a ground. Two grounds. So we've got a ground there and a ground here. Small output there, or something small there, something small there, something there. Don't know. Multi layer board, so who knows where it goes. So I'm going to have to do some research on these, find out what these are as far as the specs. Um, OC5SC25. So I'm guessing a 16095 means it's made in 1995. That's my guess. Let's check the other one, see if it's got the same. And this is 16083. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of model number or something. Who knows? Maybe it's batch number. Could be batch number. Maybe it's 2016. I can't be 83rd week of 16, can it? No, I don't think so. Okay, great. These are for my radio room, my lab number two. Second lab. RF lab, what do you want to call it? I don't know. Don't know how good these are, I've got no idea, I guess we'll find out. So we've got some 3.5mm mono plugs to BNC connectors. So the reason I've got these is for hooking up test gear. I think I've got a different lens actually, yes I did, two different lengths. What's that, 50 or 30 centimetres? And maybe that's 50 centimetres, might be 30 centimetres and 50 centimetres, something like that. So I'll put this up, plug this into the front of my Marconi 2955 as an audio input. And then I can hook this up to a radio and to the speaker section, inject audio through this. That's the plan. So I hope you found it interesting. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to that stuff, and check out my other videos. Check out my past video catalogues. Loads of them. There's bound to be someone there which will interest you. Check out the playlists. This video is at the end of the video. 
there's like icons up there and over here and places watch those click on those and watch some more videos go on it helps my channel quite a bit if you click on those something else I was gonna say something else hmm don't forget to check out my library channel as well LBRY this is a link down below in the description it's my alternative to YouTube Dave Jones is on there as well as many other people and I'm on there too obviously I think you might get an advert free I'm not sure so if you're watching library you might get no ads but then it harms my channel I suppose because I don't get the revenue so oh, it's up to you your choice you can be nice and help support my channel or you can go and watch it ad free on the other side but uh, yeah I'm guessing I don't know so yes lots of good projects on the way some good repair videos coming up definitely so make sure you check those out And here's another element 13. Oh, yeah, I'd rather call it element 13. That's not right. Take that back out. Let's get the end of the video.